Here's a question that was sent to me. The individual wanted to know if they could remove a wall that was running down the center of their garage. And it's not going to be uncommon to come into a building where someone has added something. It's going to be your job now to figure out if it can be removed. And I understand because you look at something like this and it looks like these are some type of ceiling joist and they're lapping over a wall like this and possibly supporting a vertical member that could be supporting the roof framing or the ridge. I got that. But uh, this is normally how a, or I should say it's one method that can be used for conventional framing of a garage. And this would be a rafter tie. We used to call them garage ties too. So this, this would be a rafter tie and it's simply nailed to the other one and it's used to prevent the walls from spreading out and the roof from sagging. And this board right here is actually used to hold these boards in their right position and prevent them from sagging down. So I hope that makes sense. So if you have a situation like this, you could probably remove the wall um, safely. So you can see here where it's where it's held up. You have the vertical supports attached to the rafters. And of course, these rafter ties are used to prevent the walls from spreading out. Without them, the, the weight of the roof would push down and want to push these walls out. Not going to be uncommon to have a 2x4 that runs all the way across also. Just wanted to throw that in there. You know, if you see something like this and you go, wait a minute, I have this. Again, this would be the same thing. If you have a 20-foot garage, they sell 20-foot lumber. A 20-foot 2x4 would be fine. This would be a little less work than this would right here for the framer. Another thing I'd like to point out is that you will have anchor bolts on the exterior walls. And if you have an anchor bolt on the wall that you want to remove, then there's a good chance it might have been part of the original construction and you will not be able to remove it. I just wanted to throw that out there. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. If you have a garage, two car garage, and you have something like this, this is a common method for framing and there's a good chance you can remove the wall. Remember, I'm not a structural engineer. The information in these videos will not apply to every situation, so you should always contact an engineer if this is something you are concerned about or if you're, hey, I'm not sure on this. I can look at a building most of the time and tell you what happened to it or what uh, if the walls can be removed, but if you can't, it would probably be to your benefit to find somebody who can figure it out. And that might even be just contacting a contractor in your area. So I will leave that up to you. You are ultimately responsible for your decisions and this will be just another one of them. Hopefully it works out.